What up? This is Rama Screen, and I'm here talking with the stars of Netflix new series Sex Life arriving June 25. Adam and Margaret. How are you, Adam and Margaret? Very good. How are you? Good. Thank you for taking the time. Oh my God, this show is so steamy. Uh, <laughs> let me <laughs> let me ask you both though. Uh, was it challenging for you both to be that vulnerable in front of the camera? Was it you know something that it took some getting used to? Let me start with you, Margaret. Well, thankfully. Uh... All of my moments of intimacy that we have in the show came post the start of the pandemic. So I had a lot of time to kind of settle in and think through the, the things that I was going to be expected to do eventually. Um, but truthfully, you know, you build up in your mind, like all of this, you know, nervousness and anxiety around like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to be naked in front of all these people or, you know, how awkward it's gonna be to like be necking with a complete stranger basically. But it, it wound up being truthfully the complete opposite of that experience, largely because we had such a tremendous crew that was so supportive and so uh, professional in how they approached those scenes. And our intimacy coordinator, Kate, our intimacy coordinator, Casey, was just top notch. You know, we always talked through any um, boundaries that actors had um, and really choreographed every single element of the scenes down to where you're looking at which time so that they really felt authentic, but then also we could authentically inhabit our characters and not be thinking, you know, a million other things uh, around the, you know, peculiarities of the sex scene. Let me add to that uh, for you, Adam, um, because Brad is so, so confident of a character. Um, do, do you see yourself as uh, that kind of confident as well? Is that something that you switch in, on and off for the role only? I mean, you switch it on and off for, um, for the role to in order to be convincing as Brad, I guess, you know, it's um, so... There are versions of it, but Brad in himself has his insecurities and, and all of those issues and vulnerabilities when it comes to him dealing with his past and feeling exposed with his love for Billy. So, you know, every, people who seem confident are still going through their own things, I think, you know. I know that you guys shot this show in Toronto, but uh, this show's the depiction of New York City is off the chain. It really is a place of YOLO, right? A place of living in the moment. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> so talk to me about how this show captures the NYC essence and does it parallel your own party experiences whenever you visit NYC? Let's start with you, Adam. Well, I, I was just about to defer to Margaret because Margaret's from New York. So uh, my Australian... Uh, take on things probably won't be the correct one but yeah it's the depiction of partying i'm all for uh, uh, and i and i've had similar experiences but i'll leave it to uh the local to talk to you about <laughs> the new york side of it yeah i was so excited to be part of a show that was set in new york as a native and playing a character that's a native new yorker like that rarely it happens for me actually um but i think the the energy of New York comes through in so many ways in this piece. It's how it's shot. The cinematography is so like you can almost feel the scenes, you know, um, the fashion. My character has some insane clothes and you'll see, you know, designers um, ranging from like Christopher John Rogers to uh, Kushni to, you know, some designer pieces, Balmain. So the, the fashion really helps communicate that vibrant New York, only in New York kind of energy. And then absolutely the, the nightlife uh, comes through hard. And, you know, that was also an interesting thing to be shooting all of these nightclub scenes in, in a time where no one, where the, no the, the all shut down in Toronto. Um, <laughs> so uh, the, the New York vibe comes through really strong. And I was really happy to add my own two cents in there whenever, whenever appropriate uh, to really give it that New York authenticity. Definitely one of my favorite places on earth. And uh, for my fans at home, everybody go check out Sex Life arriving on Netflix June 25. Adam and Margaret, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thanks, man. Thank